Hey farmhands, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode of part two of hooking up uh, the Aquamatic Evo 4 doser. So what we have to do in this process, um, from my first video we did the unboxing. Today we're gonna do the full setup, how to program uh, the controller, and then we're gonna put it through the test. What you're gonna need to do this test today, guys, is you're gonna need a measuring cup. We're gonna run 100 milliliters of uh, RO water through our unit to make sure it's right on. We get the right amount of uh, milliliters so we know we're good to go so we can program it because I'm gonna need 25 milliliters of uh, my elements a day for my tank. Um, I've been uh, keeping researching it, logging it, how much it needs every day so I know what I need to do. So I need 25 milliliters but we need to test each pump. I'm gonna pump it to 100 milliliters, make sure it's right on and then I can reprogram it down to 25 milliliters. So you're gonna need yourself a measuring cup and then you're gonna need some, uh, I just got some RO water here just to run through the pumps. And I notice how I'm gonna mount the, the controller here on the back wall on the ME Coral uh, banner. As all I'm gonna do is I have some of my uh, two-way tape uh, adhesive. I'm gonna measure it long enough. I'm gonna uh, put two strips on the back, double-sided, so I can stick to the back wall for the controller. So the displays on the wall is much easier to work. That's why it's good with this controller. And this doser, it's small unit, so you can put it underneath uh, your cabinetry under your tank, because not everybody has large tanks. This way it's more compact. You don't have to crawl in under there. You can put this right on your stand, hit your program, check, check, and make sure everything's good to go. So let's go ahead. We're gonna get this all programmed up. I'm gonna get my two-way tape on the back so I can mount it. And then we're gonna run uh, each pump, Get make sure we get 100 milliliters on it, and then we're good to go. Hand. So we're over at the ME uh, Coral display with the Aquamatic Doser Evo 4. So I just have everything set up. This is how it's all going to work out. So we got our pump, we got the controller. So here's the controller. What I end up doing is I end up adding uh, two-way tape on the back so I can stick it here on the ME Coral display. So just by I just measured it out and then we just peel the film off of it just like this. Peel it off. And then I'm just gonna mount it right here so I can see it when I wanna work on it. So we know this is flat, so I can square this right up. You just use the two-way tape, just mount it right to the Emmy Coral poster so she's good and solid. Make sure it was level. So now we're good to go. It looks nice, we have our controller set up. I have it plugged in on the side, your typical uh, network cable. So all we have to do right now is just add the power. So here, we're just gonna add the power cord to the back. That you just flip it over here as you guys can see the jack is in the back. So let's plug that in. Now everything's lining up here. We'll tidy up these cables later to make it look really nice. You always want to have nice clean lines when you're and hide all your cables is nice. So I'll end up hiding those all later. So as you guys can see it's displaying the time, the date. It's good to go. So we know our power is on so all we have to do now is we're gonna have to go, go through the channels, program the date, the time, and we'll be good to go. All right, so to program the time, let's do this together. So I got my Apple Watch here, as you guys can see the time. So what we have to do is we hit the middle button arrow. So it says set date and time, we hit enter again. So right now it's 2015-11, so that part is right. We have to change this, the date today, and the date is the 16th. So let's go down one, so we'll hit enter. And then set time, and the time is eight, 31 so down over let's go down let's go back down to 31 let's do here they're almost there so there we go we'll put it at 32 30 seconds good enough for me so there we go so we have our date and time everything's all set to go so what we have to do now is we have to set set the controller to start dosing pump one at 100 milliliters so before I do that I'm gonna take my uh, tubing they sent me here, the tubing, I want to measure everything out perfectly, so I'm going to measure into my first one, say, uh, you know, calcium, magnesium, alkalinity. I'm just going to measure so they hook on to each uh, valve, onto each container. I just want to get that first, and then we can hook up to uh, start taking the RO water and programming uh, number one. Right, so we got our tubing here, so we're just going to measure these out. So you can see it comes with everything you need. It comes with the tubing, it's very handy. So we just shove those onto the valves. And then this is going to dose onto this one. So I'm going to leave it long enough, leave a nice loop. And then I'm just going to cut it here, just with your scissors. Cut it. I'm just going to feed it through the hook onto the valve of the container that we're going to be dosing out of for the ME Coral uh, elements. So you just slide that over top. Screw that back down. So now I have the full length I need on this one. And then I'm going to do the, the rest of the three ASAP. So that one's good to go. 
to do the next one. So we grab our valve. And we'll measure that out too, make everything look equal and the same. Straight lines, cut it as well. Pull this one off. Slide this over top. Slide it over top again. Tube this down, tighten it up. So we got two down. So then I'll just make these nice and neat later on. Hide those. You always want to have a nice uh, display. And we'll do our third one. We'll go to the valve. Measure it equally again. And we'll cut. Because you want to leave enough to dose into our tank as well. Go to the third one. Go through again. Go on. Take it down. Come back. All right, so there's three elements we're good to dose now. So that was pretty effortless. It's nice that Aquamedic sent all the tubing that we need. You know, all the connectors and ends are perfectly, uh, you know, for this application. We've got our controller, the times in. So all we have to do now is start uh, programming pump one, two, and three, and we're good to go. And then uh, we'll start dosing uh, ME Coral's uh, elements. So let's move on to programming pump number one. So let's get the first holding container. Let's get it filled up with some water here so we can start our dose. Get enough in there so we make sure we get our 100 get our 100 milliliters to get our rate measurements. So let's fill that up. Let's fill up the number one. Let's fill up number two. Let's fill up number three. All right, so now that we're all filled with RO water, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a small piece of hose that we can run into our measuring cup to get our 100 milliliters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the measuring cup right up here. We'll just move this over. We'll set the measuring cup here so you guys can see right here. You can see that right there is the 100 mil mark. That's how much water we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna cut this off so we can put it into the into here so you guys can see exactly what 100 milliliters ends up being. All right, farm hands. what we need to do now is we have to uh, prime the lines to make sure we get an accurate measurement because we need to get 100 milliliters in here. But first we need to prime this pump. So what we need to do is we just have to turn it on, prime the lines, make sure they're full of fluid before we can get an accurate measurement into our measuring cup. So what we need to do is here's, your, here's my hose, the piece that I cut. We're just gonna put it here. So what we're gonna do, I'll bring you over. You're gonna, to get your first pump, you need to hit up. And you can see from one to eight is all our pumps. If you have eight pumps, it means you got the extra module to get an extra four pumps. So what we need to do is hit enter here, grab our first one. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run this until there's uh, the fluid is in the line. So all we have to do is hit up. So, so right now, you, you can see it's moving. It's starting to take fluid, as you guys can see. And we're just gonna prime the lines. So let's let it prime first. So there we go, so it's primed. So all we have to do now is hit up, stop it. So we're good to go. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the fluid that came out. We're just gonna put it back into our holding container. Just like that. Put this back up. So what we need to do now is slide this back in. We'll grab our hose again. So now the lines are primed. As you guys can see, there's fluid in here. It's full of fluid. So now we have an accurate measurement. So as soon as the pump turns on, we try to fill up to get our 100 milliliters, we shut it down. So we'll put this in here. All we have to do is hit up again, and it's gonna reset. And then we're gonna go to get our 100 milliliters. So let's hit up. Here we go. So now it's pumping, as you guys can see. So we're shooting for 100 milliliters here. It's gonna take a little time, just bear with me. So we'll just keep our finger here on the up arrow to make sure we hit our 100 milliliters. The pump's very uh, quiet, it's not that loud, so that's great. So we're getting pretty close to our 100 milliliter, as you guys can see. We're almost there. Do this in a lifetime time for you guys. This is the best way to learn. We're almost at 100 mil. Should be around like 162. There we go. There's our 100 mil mark. So it's ex exactly right on. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna put this back in here and then I'm gonna program this into the controller so I can get my 25 milliliters. Now that we got our 162, we know we're all calibrated. So what we need to do now is I have to set my pump one up. I wanna make sure it's gonna dose 25 milliliters a day for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit enter. We're gonna escape here. I'm gonna hit enter. 
And then I'm going to scroll down. I'll just move this to the side, guys. Do this here. And we're going to hit set program. So let's set the program. Select number one, yes. So I want it to, how many times per day? One. Um, intervals per day, I'm just going to, zero. If I leave it at zero, that means it'll pump every day. So we're going to leave it at that. And I need it to 25 milliliters a day. Scroll over here. So there's two. 25 a day. Hit enter again. And then when do I want to do it? We'll do it. Eight o'clock. Enter. So there we go. So program is sent. Hit escape. So pump one is all ready to go to start uh, dosing my calcium. So I'm not going to do each one for you guys, but that's the typical how you get your first pump operational, all calibrated and programmed. I'm going to do the rest on my own, but I just want to show you guys up close and personal. That's how it's done. That's a pretty uh, simple uh, setup process. I definitely like that. All right, farm hands. So we got the Evo 4. We got it all programmed up. It's all calibrated. I got my 25 milliliters a day in there once a day. It was really easy to program. As you guys can see, a few arrows and you're good to go. So on the next episode, what we're doing, we got the ME Coral. We're going to be uh, mixing up all their elements. So on that episode, we're going to start mixing. We're going to see how easy it is to mix, how clear it is, and how fast it is. And then we're going to get it into the holding tanks. And we're going to start dosing the 220 reef tank upstairs to see what kind of coral growth we have guys we're gonna go through each episode and we'll see how fast the, the acros SPS and everything is taking off using these elements I'm pretty excited I haven't been dosing my tank so that the corals are starting to look a little dull and we'll see what happens when we start uh, dosing the ME corals so I just want to thank Orlando from Aquamedic for sending me up uh, this really nice uh, dosing pump it's a really good quality the one thing I really like about it it's really quiet when the pumps are turning on and turning off so I just want to say thanks a lot. So hopefully you guys tune in for the next episode. We're going to start mixing together. So please subscribe and hit the like button.